Hello everyone, today we will be talking about a new toy that was released in Japan this weekend. Now, before I continue, I want to tell you that if you are not a fan of toy reviews, if you're not a fan of the fact that you won't be able to buy this toy cheaply or easily via fact, via internet, I recommend you thinking about this guy. Yes, me. And how I say, someone in Williamsville, New York, loves you. We don't know who, but someone does. Trust us. Okay, right now in Japan, it's a season called Golden Week. It's not really so much a season, but more or less a vacation. A series of holidays placed within a week span. Now, in that case, you in this case, I'm sorry, uh, students and office workers often have time off for that week. And toy companies usually produce a movie and or a special high-priced toy to keep children busy and occupied. And this year Bandai has produced both a movie and a new toy. Um, they Last week they produced or they released Kamen Rider vs. Sentai Ranger in one really interesting fun mashup movie. It made no sense but it was fun. Actually, it was very easy to understand when I saw it with my poor little Japanese. Um, and the toy they released was a Kamen Rider Forze toy. Now, Kamen Rider Forze's gimmick is based off of accessories, weapons. In the show, he is up to about 40 different accessories. Unfortunately, each toy that is produced so far has come out with four accessories each. Minus the orange character who has had two, but he was a movie tie-in for the winter. Um, he's not really counted, I guess, because his uh, his Astro Switch was numbered S1 instead of the usual Astro Switch number. Um, with that said, there have been up to, so far, 16 modules produced. Now, today we're going to look at 20 modules. We have a lot of things to discuss. Okay, so first I'll show you the box. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the magic hand switch. If, um, for any of you who know about toys, Tom Rider 4 is a toys, this is the first toy that was produced out of another, a promotional gimmick for Tom Rider O's movie. This is the first time we saw something of Tom Rider 4's and it showed a claw-like hand, which has not been used for any of these toys so far. This box that has come out uses all these weapons. This is the box. Okay? It's a fairly long box, as you see. Okay? Now, it comes with a figure, but the figure is more or less this toy but made with clear plastic and it's called his stealth state stealth module I'm sorry stealth module on base state so it's kind of a neat collection of weapons now the price is a little hefty um, if you can see the price is fifty one fifty which is about fifty three dollars American um, that's nothing. Actually, the website has tried selling it for 6,000 6, yen, which is about $62, $63 American. Now, on the side of the box, we have the, the figure and the different modules he has here. Some of the modules. On the other side of the box, we show him with the flag. It comes with this toy, comes with a nice little flag as well. Okay. Um, if I'm skipping over anything, please forgive me. There's a lot of detail. This is our third try at this video that isn't... I'm trying not to make over time. Okay. Over 15 minutes. Anyway, so next we have this picture showing all these modules, their names, and the modules in action. Okay. Then we have a picture of these modules, minus the 
movie tie-in orange rocket shape and the modules that they have so far and mixed with these modules each module it can be used with each other character unless as I mentioned in previous reviews such as the red or the yellow which has and the silver which has blockers on his forearms the next toy will be cosmic state which will be coming out in the middle of next month and has his four remaining modules okay now within eight minutes let's do 20 toys um, in the middle of the box we have a flag the flag is a cloth flag it is a nice flag um, once I get done with this review I will have this out and set it up proper he comes with two staffs to be connected so he could have this held as you see okay. now prior to this review I removed the tape there was tape kind of holding this down holding the lids down but I removed those okay now there are some that have bricks, there are some that are not, okay? Here are the, here we have, we have the claw. The bricks do not have any articulation points whatsoever. Here we have the hydrogen, or the water module. The nozzle is supposed to turn around. Mine, it's stuck, but it doesn't really need, I don't, I'm happy with how it is. Here we have the scissors. Only one blade moves up, but it's still pretty good. Here we have the air module. This bends a little bit but it's pretty nice as it is and then we have the parachute module which is more or less a brick then we have the medicine module which does open up as such then we have the hammer module which is a brick the stamp module which I have not seen it used in the show at all but I missed that show. I missed a few shows, but eh, it's still kind of neat. You have this like spring action on the bottom. You have a stamp. I'm sure if you have a stamp pad, you can probably make a stamp mark on a paper. Then we have spike module, which is more or less a brick. Shovel module, which is more or less also a brick. The wrench module which has a nice piece of length of rope for a toy as far as it, as it can go the claw kind of doesn't snap in but it fits firmly in next we have the base figure in invisible mode he's nothing different he's not different at all in any way as I can see um, than the this other than the plastic is clear. Also, we have a stealth module, which is also a brick. Okay, how am I doing? I've got five more minutes. Okay, five more minutes, you lucky people. Next, we have the smoke module, which is, of course, a brick as well. Then we have the light module, which is a brick. This is the, what is called the screw module, but it's more or less a rotor, which he uses when he goes into water action. Next we have the magic hand, which has some nice articulation points. Swivel joint here, here, bending arm here, swivel joint here, bending here. Bend here, a swivel here, bend here, and of course the claws open and close. Okay. Next we have the mace module, which the chain is a pretty nice chain. It is not too flexible. Um, I'm sure if you really pull on it, you could break it, but I don't see it breaking easily with no real purpose. Uh, I'm snapping off quickly. This also has a peg that fits here, so you don't really need to have it just lying around. 
Then we have the freezer module, which snaps like a close. Next we have the net module, which has some articulation points. And then we have this pen module, which was cleverly used in the show, which is more or less a brick. Um, I'll attach a few. I only got a few minutes left. I'm sorry. I, f I hope I don't go over time. I'll attach this to here. And see this to this. Here we go. Ice cream machine salesman. <laughs> Then we have this to this, and this to this, and then we have yeah. fly swatting fours. Not really fly swatting, but you know, use your imagination. Okay, time is over. So fours, my camera woman is just told me it's Forze. I know I made that mistake before. It is Forze and I, I mean, I've got a, a lot of flack from some people saying it's like, when I first started doing these reviews and calling me interesting words. Anyways, that is the toy review and that is almost all the time we have. Thank you very much. Um, about this toy itself, if you have the money for it, I recommend it. It has some nice, article, nice accessories. It's just a chock full of accessories and um, if you like the f character, you would like this. Um, if you don't, if you are semi lukewarm on the character, I say pass on it. But I kind of like, I actually, it's grown on me. And I really do like the character. Anyways, thank you very much and have a fantastic golden week. Take care.